In section 4.3, I introduced the strength and nature of a relationship between two variables. The nature referred to whether the relationship between two variables was positive, as in a positive slope, negative, as in a negative slope to the trend line, the best fit line, or no relationship at all. There is also a video which will be linked below that is a advanced organizer uh, to help introduce some of the ideas behind the values of the correlation coefficient R. The correlation coefficient R tells us uh, something about how close the relationship is between the independent and dependent variable, that is, how tightly, uh, how tightly linked they are. For example, a perfect positive relationship, the correlation coefficient R the function is C-O-R-R-E-L. You can see it up there. Do an open parenthesis. Notice it's the same data Y comma data X structure that we've been using. C2 to C11 comma. Sorry, got a comma already in there. Comma. B2 to B11. Check. And I get, as expected, a 1. The correlation coefficient R runs from negative 1 to 1. Negative 1 is a perfect negative relationship. 1 is a perfect positive relationship. And a 0 would mean there's no relationship between the two variables. I'm going to go ahead and copy that function because the geometry of my spreadsheet allows me to go ahead and paste that here. And you'll see I've pasted it in and it's got F2 to F11 and E2 to E11. And that gives me a correlation R of negative 1. This is a perfect negative relationship. All of the data values are exactly on the line. Here with the no relationship case, the correlation R will generate a division by 0. This occurs because the slope is zero and there's a, a zero winds up in the denominator of the formula that generates the correlation R. The 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 uh, variation in the Y variable, the variance in the Y variable, my, my apologies, uh, is zero. The standard deviation is zero and that puts a zero in the denominator and so the correlation uh, fails to calculate. When you see that division by zero you've probably got something like this arrangement here, a mathematically perfect no relationship. There is no relationship between those variables. And here too, the same problem occurs. There is a zero in the denominator of the mathematical formula that calculates the correlation coefficient r, which statisticians just call r. And so you get a division by zero. When you see that, again, there's no relationship there. Strengths of relationship can be perfect at negative 1 or 1, and none at 0. A strong positive relationship can be seen here. Equals, I'll put the function back in, the corral, and I'm going to put in the uh, y data, comma, the x data, I'm just dragging with my finger, c2 to c11, b2 to b11, I press check, and I get about 0.935. This is a strong positive relationship. In the small sample sizes you we're using in this Introduction to Statistics course, anything above 0.7 will be considered to be a strong or high correlation a strong, in this case, a positive relationship. The slope is positive, the correlation is positive, that tells you you have a positive correlation R. This one that was categorized as moderate, let's see, go ahead and let me pick that function up. I'll copy that. I'm just long pressing on my screen and then I can tap over here and long press and paste. And I get, in this case, I get about a point five, six, right halfway between zero and one. Anything in the middle of that range from zero to one or zero to negative one is going to be a moderate relationship. 
In this case, the slope is positive, so it's a positive relationship, and it's moderate. Tap, long tap, paste. Here I see a correlation R of about 0 0.35. 0 0.35 is either the bottom end of moderate or the top end of weak. Um, this is a fairly weak relationship. Uh, relation, the strength of the relationship does involve knowing something about the sample size. Uh, but again, for the purposes of introduction to statistics, for the purposes of, of getting your head wrapped around this idea, 0.35 is kind of a borderline between moderate and weak. It's, it's fairly weak for this data set that we're looking at. And you can see that in the data. It's fairly widely scattered uh, away from the line. The trend line doesn't have a very strong orientation to it. And then here, this last set of data, we've got a correlation of 0 0.01. This is a very low, almost zero correlation. There's really no relationship between the independent and dependent variable, between the x and the y axis. The slope 2 at 0 0.01 is very close to 1. The line itself appears to be essentially uh, horizontal. So the correlation R is telling us also that there's no real relationship here between the x and the y value. So those are rough kind of guidelines. They're a bit fuzzy on the borders. Up around 0.7, it's hard to know whether you're moderate or strong. It's a borderline. It's not a hard and fast rule. Down around 0.3, you're, you're somewhere between moderate and weak, 0.35. That's a, a fairly uh, weak uh, correlation for this for a data set that has only 10 values. That's fairly low. Uh, again, if you have more data values, that can impact the correlation R, uh, but I'll leave that for a more advanced course.